Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, welcome. My name is Kendall. Today I'm going to be unboxing the Nike Air Fear of God Ones in the triple black colorway. So first off, I just want to say that these are actually not mine, so they're going to look bigger than my usual size. So I actually took an L on these shoes. I tried to get them through the sneakers app and I ended up not getting them, but my boyfriend actually got them on the sneakers app, so I'm going to be reviewing his. I was actually pretty bummed out that I didn't get to pick these up only because I don't have any other Fear of God and Nike collab sneakers and I'm not sure how true this is but I have heard talk that this will probably be one of the last collaborations with Jerry Lorenzo and Nike and being that that might be true I really wanted to get these just in case like later on they are worth something because they don't do any more collaborations but I'm not sure how true that actually is. I mean, I just saw some comments like here and there about it, basically saying that Jerry Lorenzo and Nike are parting ways. So I'm not positive at all, but let me know in the comments below if you guys have heard the same thing or if you have heard otherwise, I would love to know. And before I start the video, as always, if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that way you never miss a new video. So here it just comes in an orange box and it's actually packaged pretty nicely. And then the first thing that's actually in the box is this bag and it's kind of like a mesh material but it's a pretty big bag and you can kind of use it for anything if you're going to go like grocery shopping or you can just put your sneakers inside of it. And it's pretty nice that it comes with these other things. And here you have this little package and it's sealed pretty nicely with the Nike and Fear of God logo. And then I'm just opening it up. And inside is actually some lock laces and they do come in two different colors so you have the black and the pink and it also has the fear of God writing and then it also has this tag that you can put on your shoe and then in the first shoe it actually comes with another pair of laces and it's in the color white so you have a couple options and then also in the other shoe it does come with a tan lace so you have two other options if you need so here is the shoe and first off, this shoe box that it comes in, like if you get it shipped to your house, like people are not kidding, it is super heavy. It's just a lot heavier than usual. So definitely when people say that it's heavier, believe them because it is heavier than usual. And I also noticed that people were saying that theirs had a lot of glue on it. Like I was reading some comments and people said that there was like glue all over their shoe. And honestly, like I can definitely see why because like this shoe smells like straight up glue. If you smell it it's like a very strong glue smell not that people are just like sniffing shoes but like I did notice when I took it out of the bags it was very like it was just like a very strong glue smell so hopefully not a lot of people have a lot of glue stains on them but I definitely see why because it definitely smells like glue so starting off with the toe box on here it's definitely a lot softer than the rest of the shoe it's kind of like a suede material when I feel it and basically that's like the only part that's actually pretty soft and then as you move to the upper of the shoe this is actually supposed to be mimicking the air hirachi so it kind of does have a similar look to that and that's what they were going for and then it's also kind of like a mesh material there as well and i feel like that's probably there for like some ventilation for the shoe and then yeah, as you move to the top by the ankle support, it definitely is the same material, but it's a little bit harder so that way you have a little bit more support. So moving down to the midsole on the shoe, you have the Nike sign and then on the midsole it's basically like a pretty durable and sturdy plastic, like it's very hard, it doesn't really move at all, so that's definitely good for support. And then on here, on the midsole you can see on this side the writing, so it just says Air Fear of God. And then here it has the numbers and that is actually his grandfather's dog tag number which is actually a really cool and unique thing to do on a shoe and then moving down to this part on the back of the heel it's like this clear part over here this is called the double height zoom air heel unit that part is actually going to give a lot of comfort so this fear of god one is actually designed as a basketball shoe so it's intended for people to play basketball in i'm not sure like who actually does but i know like swaggy p plays in the yellow ones or he has before so some people do but i'm not sure how many people actually do but that's definitely why there's like all of this support too like around the ankle here 
So that's why it's really kind of hard to get your foot into this because it's like this huge ankle support here. So it gives you a lot of support on your Achilles and your ankle. So it definitely helps like prevent injuries or you would hope. So this shoe is definitely pretty hard to get on and off. Um, a lot of people have been saying that and that is definitely true. On the back here, this zipper, you just pull it down like it is kind of hard to pull down. But you just want to be careful because you don't want it to rip off. I heard some people like they pulled it too hard and then it just like ripped off. So definitely be careful on that. But it's definitely meant to stay on. So I think that's why it's a little bit harder to get off like to zip it down and up. And overall it's a pretty cool looking shoe. I'm sure a lot of people won't be playing basketball in them. Or maybe they will. But I'm sure a lot of people just want this for the style. And that's totally okay as well. And also on the back of here, it just says fear of God and has the Nike symbol and also says Nike. So moving on to the sizing on this, I feel like this is extremely important. So my boyfriend is a size 10 and a half and he ordered this in a size 10. So he ordered a half size down from his regular size and it fit perfectly. It was perfect because he said it's very narrow, but it's very long. So that's why like you need a size and a half down. But if you do have a wide foot, it might be hard, so you might have to go true to size for that. So I would just keep that in mind. But if you have narrow feet, I would definitely recommend going a half size down because that's what he did and they fit perfectly. So the main part of it is putting the shoe on. It's definitely hard to get on and off, but it's supposed to be like a snug fit, I guess, because it's made to be like a basketball shoe. So you can definitely tell throughout this shoe that it was definitely made for basketball or just has like some similarities on basketball shoes. And then on the bottom of the shoe, it's kind of like a cool little design how there's like a little center right here and it's like swirls around it. And then you have the air cage here with the Nike sign at the bottom. So yeah, overall this shoe is pretty nice. I feel like because it is the triple black, a lot of people will be after them. Um, usually like triple black colorways are pretty popular for people to resell and they are typically more expensive than other colorways. Not necessarily in the fear of gods, but just like typically, especially like with Yeezys. I kind of feel like these are the Jordan ones of fear of God, but I did just check stock X. So the size 10 is going for $511. So being that they retail for $350, but it's not really like a huge profit after like fees and stuff, but it's still not like terrible. I feel like eventually it might go up, but I'm not positive. So being that these don't fit me, I'm going to have my boyfriend do the on foot for you guys. So that way you can still see what they look like on foot. So I'll show you guys that next. Just find out where it takes us Yeah, I'm young and coming up Don't got time to fall in love Don't got time to fall in love Can't risk it all Let me know in the comments below if you guys pick these up and how you're liking them or if you're going to pick them up I would like to know also. So that's it for this video Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video